If you're a CAD manager or network administrator, you may have to install AutoCAD on a bunch of machines, and if so, it would be worth your while to use the productivity features that you can gain in a deployment. All you have to do is put the original installed DVD in your drive, bring up the splash screen as you see here, and use the Create Deployment option. You can also use the Installation Help link here, which will bring you into the Autodesk Exchange, which has a variety of help topics for anything that you'd like to try and do with your deployment configuration. What we'll do to start creating the deployment, simply acknowledge this here. We will now create a configuration name, and this can be any name you'd like, and we'll create an administrative image, which will actually drive the installation later. Here I've placed it on a server under a share name Q, which is the Q drive on our network. The platform will be automatically detected, 32-bit in this case, and by default, it will only include the products that are being installed in the deployment. Do you recommend that you use the default settings here to run installations in silent mode so that there will be no user intervention required as the installation proceeds? To create a log file on each workstation's temp folder so that if anything happens during the installation, we'll have a log file created. And to also create a network log file at our server location by default with an extra log subdirectory from the administrative path. And that just maintains a logging of everyone who's running our installation procedure. Next, we simply acknowledge the user license agreement. Next, we input our serial number, product key, and indicate whether it's a standalone or network installation topology. Next, we select the products that will be installed with this deployment. Now there are additional configuration options for each product you choose to install, but we'll cover those in another video segment a bit later. Once you've selected the, and configured the products that you'd like to include in your deployment, you simply press the Create button and wait for all the files to be copied from your installation DVD into your network administrative folder, so you can expect several minutes of processing when that occurs. Simply press Create and wait for the deployment to build. When the processing is complete, you'll receive a screen very much like this. It gives you the name of the deployment that's been built, the name of the deployment link and directory folder here, as well as a clickable link that will allow you to edit the deployment later, which we'll look at in another video segment. That's it. All you have to do is press the finish button and your deployment is complete.